All right, well, today is October 3rd, 2018, and right now at uh, 10 a.m., we have a temperature of 68 degrees here in the foothills of Los Angeles. The relative humidity is 68%. Dew point is 57 degrees, and the barometer is 29.91 inches. And overnight, we had a whopping two one-hundredths of an inch of rain from a weather system that's being squashed. This is a surface to upper level low right here. You can see that the uniformity of water vapor around this low has completely been manipulated. It's uh, half of it is missing. Yet on some of these other weather systems, we see uh, a, a much uh, different picture here. We see plenty of water vapor all the way around, uh, around the center of these lows. We have two major hurricanes here. This is Sergio and uh, Wallaca. This is a category four, I believe. Take a look here in a second. Uh, notice the water vapor from this system flowing right into the low adjacent right here. We have a low pressure system. And notice the water vapor from this hurricane is flowing right into that vortex. Well, the same is not happening over here. We've got some jet stream flow that's being blockaded. We've got this area of moisture that's being blocked right here. So what we're seeing right here is violating some of the most fundamental laws of uh, pressure and physics. That is mainly that higher pressure always flows to lower pressure unless we have uh, activity like this happening. If we look at the uh, infrared map, we can see that there's very little uh, water vapor here in the center. Uh, <clears throat> we were supposed to get some rain from this system overnight. The weather pattern, uh, the forecast has changed. And uh, apparently there is no rain in uh, today's uh, forecast. But that could change again. We see that this uh, system here is being squashed. We have a surface to upper level low right here. If you look at the pressure maps, we can see that right here. There's the low moving in, closed low. And we have the 500 millibar map. We see some squigglies here over Nevada, Arizona, and California. Got the closed low right there. And we have the 300 millibar map. There's that closed low. You see some uh, jaggy lines right here over the Southern California area right here. These isobars should all be smooth flowing lines. This indicates a, a mixture of high and low pressure being mixed together. And that's being caused by these uh, satellite transmitters. Now overnight, I woke up around 2.30 in the morning and it was raining uh, fairly steadily. And then we had some high winds and everything stopped. There was no more rain. And the same thing happened at around 7.30 a.m. So the grand total is a two one hundredths of an inch. So that's the situation. And uh, we can see from these maps what's going on. <coughs> So we've got two major hurricanes. Let's take, take a look at the uh, hurricane map here. This is Wallaca, a Category 4 storm with 140 mile per hour winds, central pressure of 942 millibar moving uh, north, uh, northeast at 17 miles per hour. Now this system is supposed to move north. Uh, we'll see that here, right here. The next few days. So this is going to be interesting to see what happens. We've got jet stream flow moving through this area, the Gulf of uh, Alaska, and uh, this this storm hill this will have to be squashed and uh, killed off so that it does not get caught up in the jet stream. It will move north. Okay, so we lost our feed there. Let's try the next map. So here is Wallaca right here, very well defined eye wall moving uh, just to the west of the islands. And notice that water vapor being allowed to spool into that uh, adjacent low. It is now being manipulated, but we uh, yesterday we saw this moving right into that low. Now it's being blocked. We can see that happening right there. Same thing's happening over here. This weather system is completely blockaded. You can see that right there. All this uh, moisture that would normally feed into that vortex is being prevented. Looking at the next set of maps, this is the western map, we see the same thing. So this is a weather manipulation. Here's the southwest map. Should be 
to get this to work. Here is the uh, infrared map. You see some moisture moving into the San Luis Obispo area and the Vandenberg uh, Air Force Base area. Let's take a look at the, uh, the map here, the uh, Doppler map. And we can see that uh, interesting things here. First of all, uh, the uh, Doppler radar, the uh, next rad WSR 88D, which is located right, right here. Uh, actually, it's right up in this area. There's no pie-shaped cutouts, so that WSR 88D, the, the next rad uh, microwave transmitter, right up in this area, is not uh, chopping up the rain. It's being allowed to move in. And we can see from this map that uh, Southern California. Right down here is not getting much rain. We see over Big Bear there's some some rain, and out over Palmdale, over the mountains, but nothing over San Diego or Los Angeles. But this all should be swinging in later this uh, this morning and uh, dumping some rain. As we move north, we can see that San Luis Obispo, Arroyo Grande, uh, all this area is getting some rain. By the way, the uh, Pillar Point uh, radar station is uh, right near Santa Cruz. I, I got that wrong the other night. It's right down here south of uh, San Francisco. It's right in this area near Mavericks. Okay, so we can see the rain pattern here. Uh, there's just not much happening given the size of that uh, weather system right offshore, that surface to uh, upper level low. All right, so we're going to keep an eye on that. Let's go back and uh, that map is refreshing. Here is the uh, surface analysis map. There's a big storm up in the Bering Sea right here, 957 millibar. We see a, a giant purple occluded front indicated right here. And this, is, uh, this is a warm front overtaking a cold front right in the middle of a storm indicated 957 millibar and yet we have a an occluded front how does that happen in the middle of a storm well if you look at the maps we can see the storm has been completely isolated by a transmitter we have jet stream flow right here and we see this dark area this entire system has been isolated as it moves towards alaska but the point the 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 uh, the mission here is to prevent the jet stream from flowing into that vortex and the same thing is happening right here. We see the jet stream is being blocked from moving into this uh, low. Same thing's happening over here. And that's why this system has been squashed. They're preventing uh, any development. And so we're getting just a few drops of rain. And the people on TV are jumping up and down, uh, talking about rain and uh, flooding and all this sort of thing. Well, if uh, these weather controllers, these terrorists that are controlling our weather, pull the power off of this, for a few hours, we will immediately see lift in the atmosphere, and this uh, this screenshot will quickly change. We'll see a lot of rain develop, and, and hopefully, we'll get some rain. But it's in their hands. Uh, we have uh, terrorists controlling our weather, and they are part of this government. They're working for this government, much like the uh, corrupt FBI and the DOJ. Uh, the same problem exists in the uh, U.S. Air Force, which is controlling this entire manipulation operation. The Department of Defense runs the next rad uh, WSR 88Ds. Why would why in the world would the Department of Defense be in the uh, weather business? The business of controlling and uh, chopping up weather, uh, causing these uh, pie-shaped cutouts, which today are not non-existent. Non you see, uh, once again, there's no pie-shaped cutouts. So those WSR 88Ds have been given a day off. Happens to be the same day that uh, we were uh, forecasting uh, some, some rain in Southern California. We'll see how that all plays out. Uh, just very little moisture in this uh, system. And look at these two major storms here. Plenty of uh, uniformity of moisture around these storms is as it should be. We see a huge blast pattern right down here. So this storm is being superheated. We see, look at this, right there. We see that pressure wave, right there, moving out, right there. 
So this storm is being uh, throttled back. The eye wall disappears briefly and then re rebuilds itself. We see that. This is pretty obvious stuff. When you're denying the obvious, we've got some shills back on this site. We're going to have to permanently boot them off. But when you look at this stuff and, and uh, people that are denying what's going on here uh, either are, are stupid or they're uh, shills. That's just really the bottom line. Uh, the chemtrail spring operation is, 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 we've got the timing on that. We can forecast that with relative ease. And all of this is uh, driven by Wall Street interests. The uh, financial incentives have to be stopped in order for this uh, weather terrorism to stop. California is a food growing state. If you shop in the stores, you know how expensive uh, meat, uh, chicken, everything, <clears throat> all everything is getting expensive. <clears throat> that is because water is uh, becoming expensive because water, the flow of water, the availability of water is uh, being manipulated by this sort of activity. So when California doesn't get rain, the farmers ch are charged more for their water because it's, it's a scarce commodity. Uh, you have to provide water to the uh, steer, the cattle, the chickens, uh, the the uh, lettuce uh, and vegetable growers, the uh, fruit growers. Uh, so now we understand why and how this whole thing happens and, and, and what's going on. It has to be stopped. And uh, the first step, the Trump people have taken several steps. They've uh, declassified uh, climate change as being a national security threat. That was done by the Obama gang to uh, protect their, uh, their butts, their asses from uh, oversight, keep it uh, compartmentalized and, and, and uh, confidential. Well, there's no reason for the weather uh, activity to be uh, classified. So Trump declassified that. That's step one. Step two is uh, to uh, develop the uh, sixth branch of the military, the space uh, force, which will force a reorganization of uh, all these space-based activities. The uh, transmission uh, to and from these satellites will be under one roof. And of course, that will probably expose these uh, weather controllers and their operations. If not, we will continue to track them down because this has to be stopped. Uh, it's one thing to block a hurricane and save thousands of lives. It's another thing to uh, be trading uh, options and, and, and derivatives on Wall Street well, uh, about the weather, weather options and derivatives, while at the same time we're preventing rain in places that uh, grow uh, a large fraction of the uh, nation's food. So uh, that's something everybody needs to think about. All the new subscribers, you, you ask, well, why is this being done? Well, water is now a hot commodity. Just look it up. Research it on the Internet. Okay, that's it. Do another one shortly.